Anyway, hey jerks, how you doing? So, hey everybody, uh, yeah, um, yeah, we're not gonna do this because the the sound was horrible, and I'm a big, I'm a big guy about making sure that uh, the video and the audio sounds good. So I'm not gonna make you guys listen to that horrible wind going on in the background. Anyway, so this video, the point of it is, um, it's kind of a progress report. And it, it's to bring you up to speed really quickly of all the things that I've done and how much it's cost me. When I started this project, I, I got the car and I decided that, or when I was looking for a car, I decided whatever I whatever I pay for the car plus all of the uh, changes that I make to it, I don't want to. I didn't want to spend more than five thousand um, dollars. As soon as I bought the car, then I said, well, you know what? Um, whatever, whenever I buy the car, I want to make sure I don't pay more or spend more than what I've paid for in the car to to bring it up to speed to to make it exactly my own so when I finally got the car uh, I talked the guy down from 2900 to 2600 and so that gives me a total um, spending of fifty two hundred dollars if I spent as much fixing it up as I paid for the car which is really close to the five thousand dollars so uh, so I'm really pretty much there and we're gonna go with a twenty six hundred plus twenty six hundred so this is a walk around of all the things that I've done and everything that I've that this car has cost me and we're gonna find out if I'm above what I've meant to spend if I still have room left in my budget or if I'm right on it I don't I didn't even know at this point when I was filming this so I'm kind of finding out as I'm making this video, and so come along, and I'll add everything up, and um, yeah, we'll see if I'm, we'll see how close I am. All right, so now I'm gonna pick up the camera, and we're just gonna kind of walk around the car, and I'm gonna kind of name off all the things that I've done, and uh, I, I, I'm not gonna, uh, the, the numbers, the, the prices will kind of flash up on the screen of how much they, these things cost me. And then we'll add them up toward at the end. So the very first thing is the hood right there. The, the car came with a terrible fiberglass black hood. So I got rid of that. And then I brought these, these clear turn signal lenses. And of course the uh, switchbacks that are inside of them. Um, then we're moving to the wheels and the tires. Those are the, the, uh, Advanti Storm S ones and, uh, some sort of, Yokohama wheel tires, I guess. Um, <clears throat> also the wheel spacers that are in there, those one inch wheel spacers. Right here, uh, of course we have, the first thing that I did was the brakes. So all four wheels have new rotors and new brake pads. On the back of the car, I have a new rear panel and that was thanks to that woman who drove into me and smashed it. And then, um, the turn signals in the back are also LED. I don't know what I'm talking about here. I forget. Oh, I'm talking about the uh, the insurance claim, and I was able to apply that insurance claim um, to a few other things. And what I'm what I'm explaining here is I'm I I took off. I I used that as a minus. Um, and then uh, oh yeah, the little stubby antenna there I also bought to replace a broken one. So. Uh, you know, I was able to, whatever I sold or was, would, you know, came into fortune that was taken off of the total. Uh, all right, so we're going into the interior of the car now. So the seat covers were uh, an actual expense. And I'm also going to add in the cost of the vinyl that I purchased in, in hopes to try and fix the existing seats, which was a complete fail. If anybody who's watched these videos, I, I failed twice trying to do that. I recovered the doors in some vinyl when I did the arm rest delete. That belt right there, um, yeah, I've had that belt, so that doesn't count. So anything that I've had uh, previously, anything that I found around the house, um, you know, stuff that I didn't have to specifically purchase for this for this build, uh, I didn't count. So also the uh, materials that I used to cover those little panels right there, that even counts. It's just a couple bucks, but uh, I still count it. And then we have a, where are we going? We're going to the other side of the car for some dumb reason. Hey, look, that panel's done too. Durr. All right, so also on the inside, we have a shift knob. We have a steering wheel. We have a head unit that I had to replace because the existing head unit was not, uh, was not good. It didn't work. And I think that about does it for that. There's an amp behind that seat that I will include as well. 
Oh, and in the speakers, of course, there's speakers behind those panels that uh, that I put in as well. So let's look under the hood and see what's under there that I purchased or replaced or fixed. We have a master cylinder for the, oop, oh, well, no, that, we're, we're talking about the coilovers right now. So coilovers are one of the big expenses. There's the master cylinder for the brake that I had to replace. And then we have a um, plug wires. We have new spark plugs in there as well. There's a little uh, filter right there, that, which was a gift, but I'm still counting that as part of the cost. Uh, what else? Uh, there's a head gasket, not a head gasket, a uh, valve cover gasket that I replaced. Underneath the car, there is the new catalytic converter that I had to put in. I bought another exhaust for it that I don't really like, but I, that still counts. And then there was a fuel filter that I replaced as well. And then there's paint that I used to paint the uh, valve cover and then the heat shield but uh, those are sort of incidentals and I, I, I add that stuff in but um, you know it it was something I had to purchase for the build so that counts all right so that is about it that's uh that's what I've done so far for the car and um, right now I'm kind of adding everything up and you're seeing a big list of it right there it's a lot of stuff when, when you add it all up. And um, so I am talking about some bullshit right now. And I'm, I don't know, I guess, I, oh, I'm talking about, uh, even if I've gone over, fuck it, uh, 2017 is a new year. And that means uh, new projects and new monies to spend on this car. You know, I'm, I'm basically calling this car done. There's nothing else major, <clears throat> excuse me, there's nothing else major that I'd like to do except replace the dashboard. And then it would basically look like a completely restored vehicle. And, um, but beyond that, uh, 2017 is a new year. It means that I have a new budget to do other things to this car if I want. Uh, or I can just buy another one and, um, beat it up and turbo it and be stupid and, you know, put it, build it into a drift missile. I don't know what I'll do, but 2017 new year. And, uh, so this car is, I'm very, very happy with it so far. And, um, yeah, so there you go. I'm adding everything up and I'm seeing how close I came from my original plan to not spend more than $2,600 on the upgrades, the replacements, the fixing, the restoration. And, uh, I'm going to show that right up here in this corner and uh, then I'm gonna also kind of add in stuff like um, well you know what I'm not I'm not gonna count fluids I'm not gonna count the uh, tools that I had to buy for this sort of thing yes it's it's a cost it, it mattered and stuff like that but uh, so fluids I'm not really gonna really gonna count because that's more like maintenance stuff but what I am gonna count is I'm gonna count stuff like uh, the rubbing compounds I had to buy, the paint that I had to, to buy for uh, the trunk lid and the and the uh, back panel and stuff like that. So I'm going to add, add in some of those things that mattered for the look and the finish of the car. Um, and then you're going to see right here, pretty much, this is the total total that I have spent. And um, wow, uh, nailed it. So yeah, anyway, um, 2017 is a new year and uh, new projects and maybe more Fix My Miata uh, web episodes. Um, I'm going to still try to do some I have no idea what I'm doing type things. The, uh, the, the dashboard is definitely going to happen. I just don't know when. Anyway, so that's it. Thanks for watching and uh, watch for more coming in the next year. Thanks a lot, guys. I also want to thank everybody so very much for subscribing to this channel. It means so much to me to see those numbers just keep going up and up. And uh, if you guys are sharing these videos, awesome. Thank you so much. If you're just new and you just stumbled on my videos somehow and you think they're good, thank you so much again. Um, I really just kind of did this channel for myself. Uh, I wanted to document what I was doing to, to turn this Frankenstein bullshit Rice Miata car into something that I really, really loved and mission accomplished. But uh, having everybody kind of watch these videos and, and, the, and the few of you that, that 
make comments and, and ask questions. I love it. You know, I, I really enjoy the Miata community and I really enjoy being part of it. So thanks. Keep it up. And uh, thanks for subscribing. And I hope to bring you more in 2017.